Hello, uh, welcome to the new video. Uh, in this video, we will discuss about signal to noise ratio. So, it is a popular measure which we use in communication systems. So, uh, SNR is a what we can say is a measure that compares the level of uh, desired signal to the level of background noise so SNR is equal to you can say in simple terms ratio of signal power to that of noise power so uh, coming to communication systems uh, it becomes very important for us to define this term called as signal to noise ratio so because consider this is our communication channel and uh, here is our sender and here is a receiver so what uh, invariably happens uh, we modulate our message signal that is m of t we combine it with uh, say some carrier to produce modulated signal s of t this s of t it will not go to the receiver as s of t because the channel which is the which acts as a mediator here will introduce some noise say w of t so the receiver side we get our signal as s of t plus w of t so it becomes very important for us to define snr in terms of practical communication system in theoretical we can when generalize somewhere but in terms of a practical communication system we need to define this term snr and uh, based on this SNR, uh, our modulation technique, like we can define how good is our modulation technique. So, how good is that rejecting noise, etc. Okay. So, uh, this SNR, which uh, we call it as signal to noise ratio, is a relative term. Okay. That's not an exact definition. We can define it at various levels. So, since we are dealing with the modulation techniques in the past few videos, that is, uh, we have been studying about amplitude modulation, DSPSC modulation, and then we came across SSB modulation. So, these are all the three modulation techniques. So, when we send these signals, there will invariably be a noise present in the channel which will add to these signals. So, it's uh, very important for us to define SNR for these three techniques and uh, once we define SNR uh, for these uh, three techniques uh, by the end of the video we will define the figure of merit for all these three techniques okay first we'll learn about what is figure of merit and in the coming videos we'll uh, see which is which has good figure of merit among these three okay so now let's define SNR at uh, like uh, various levels input, output and at channel level. Okay. So uh, while we are dealing with the communication uh, systems, we will come across three SNRs. Okay. First among these is SNR at input and uh, it is defined as average power of modulated signal by soft T upon average power of noise. So this is one SNR at input. Similarly we have a uh, one more term called SNR at output and it is defined as average power of uh, demodulated signal upon average power of mice and the third one is called as channel S SNR so channel signal to noise ratio it can be defined as a SNR of C is equal to average power of modulated signal of 
upon average power of noise in message bandwidth. So these are the three SNR which we define in uh, communication systems and it is uh, very important for us to know the difference between all these three. As you can see in the channel SNR we have uh, noise as average power of noise in message bandwidth. So they have uh, explicitly mentioned that in message bandwidth because see consider this is our channel. So you send a say modulating signal modulated signal through this channel here is our sender and here is our receiver so what happens uh, we'll be having a fixed bandwidth to operate in so we are say our bandwidth is bandwidth is say 2w or something so this is our bandwidth we are interested in only the average power of noise in this message bandwidth that is in this bandwidth how much is the noise level so that's how we define for channel SNR. We are interested in this bandwidth, not in the whole channel. Because we are restricted to our message signal. Okay. So it's not clear, but uh, it will be clear in the coming videos. For now, uh, just uh, know that we uh, for channel SNR, we define it as average power of noise in message bandwidth. Okay. So these are the three SNR and we define something called as figure of merit that is we have been studying about different modulation techniques there is AM, Bandy, there is BS, PSC and then there is SSP so we need to give a rank to all these three techniques and that criteria that is how we give rank that is uh, in communication system is through figure of merit so a figure of merit is defined as a ratio of SNR of output to that of SNR of channel. That is average power of demodulated signal upon average power of noise that is SNR of O to that of SNR of channel. So this is the average power of modulated signal upon average power of noise in message bandwidth. This figure of merit is of receiver. Okay, so that is very important. We define this at the receiving side. So you modulate a signal. Suppose there is a signal called M of P, then you modulate through any of these techniques. And then at the receiving side, while receiving the signal, we have various techniques called coherent detection or uh, for uh, then envelope detector. So there are various techniques, right? So at that receiving side, we define this important term called figure of merit. So this term will help us to quantify which among these three modulation techniques is the better one and uh, it will also tell that uh, better the F, uh, figure of merit better is the technique at rejecting the noise. So this is uh, the different SNR and uh, that's how we define figure of merit. So in the coming videos uh, we will define what is the figure of merit for different uh, techniques that is FOM for uh, DSPSC, SSP and for AF and also for FM so we will get to know uh, which uh, techniques are better and uh, which have uh, the highest capacity to reject the noise so in this video we learnt about different SNRs and the importance of SNR. Okay, so always know that better the signal to noise ratio. So better is the your quality of the message signal received at the input. Sorry, that was a little bit confusing. <laughs> uh, so better is the signal to noise ratio. Uh, better is the your message signal clarity at the receiving end. So if I say hello, how are you? It will not be like how our hour use in that sort of thing. Okay, so there will be no noise if uh, your system has high SNR.
so that's all for the this video in the next video we will see about DSPSC figure of merit thanks for watching uh, please subscribe